questions by solving it okay <coughs> uh, this is icc books uh, proposal by selena exercise 13b question number six and seven to decision we're going to do these two question in question number six in the given figure uh, p four comma two is is midpoint of line a b find the coordinates of a and b okay this is a given figure uh, this figure is there and this p is the midpoint of this a b question asks to find the coordinate of a and b now the, the main important point is there now just look at the figure if a line intersects any axis okay if the line intersects any axis if it is intersect x axis that the value of x will be there y is 0 if it is intersects y axis y will be there x is 0 remember this is the main point whichever axis is intersects the value of that axis will be axis will be there the next variable is 0 that means it intersects at x axis that means x will be there the value of y is 0 okay and similarly this point intersects y axis then x is 0 y will be there while you are writing the coordinate always write the x then y okay first write the x then y okay coordinate means the value of x and y to indicate the location of point in 2d figure and remember if it is intersects x axis y will be 0 if it is intersects y axis x will be 0 this is the main important point now from this figure we will get the value of this coordinates x and y okay got it now let me solve i will explain by solving these questions just look at here answer uh, let me draw the same line segment a b then their midpoint is p a is how much x comma 0 p is given 4 comma 2 and b is given 0 comma y okay now uh, it is already written midpoint that's why we're going to use midpoint formula if it is written midpoint if it is any words indicated the point at the middle or center okay then bisector always use bisector means that line which bisect the line which passes through the middle of the line okay that's why if the question is talking about the midpoint okay middle point then always use midpoint point formula to solve this kind of questions okay now we are going to use the midpoint formula to solve this question now midpoint formula x is equals to okay then don't forget to mark this this point is always marked at x1 y1 and this is x y and this is x2 y2 okay remember while marking system okay first point always mark as x1 y1 and last point x2 y4 and middle point is always x y okay this is the main point to solve these questions easily now x is equals to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 then y is equals to y1 plus y2 divided by 2 now this is the midpoint formula to find the value of x and y this value of x1 midpoint formula help us to get the value of middle point that is value of x and y okay remember this x and y indicate the value of middle point the coordinate of middle point that is p now what is the value of x is for the substitute here then value of x1 is x itself then value of x2 0 and divided by 2 and similarly substitute here y is 2 y1 y1 0 then y2 y itself and dated by 2 now solve this to get the value of x now 4 equals to uh, x by 2 and 2 equals to y by 2 and this get the cross multiplication 1 into x is x to 4 is 8 then put 1 here 1 into y is y 2 to the 4 now we got the value of x and y question asks to find the coordinate of x and y just replace this x by its value and y by its value okay therefore coordinates of a coordinate of a 
is how much x comma 0 is there value of x is 8 8 comma 0 and and b b what is there y 0 comma y 0 comma y y means how much for this way you have to find the coordinate okay this is a very easy just you have to use the simple formula what is mentioned in the question it is given in the clue midpoint that's why I use the midpoint formula now uh, let me do the second question before that let me rub this okay <clears throat> Now next uh, question number seven. What is that question number seven? Just look at here. Uh, minus five comma two, three comma minus six, and seven comma four are the vertices of a triangle. That means uh, corner point of a triangle. Vertices mean corner. Okay. Find the length of its median through the vertices of this code this corner okay vertex vertex means corner single corner is called vertex and polar form of vertex is vertices okay now let me draw the figure of this case and we can mark this figure as a b c we can use and letter to mark the figure then let's this is we assume this is a b c okay a b c coordinate of vertex a vertex b vertex c now vertex a, a how much minus 5 comma 2 then vertex b uh, 3 comma minus 6 and vertex c is 4 sorry uh, vertex c is 7 comma 4 now question asks to find the length of median what is median median means a line which uh, bisect the third side Okay, the question asks to draw the median through vertex 3 comma minus 6. Why is it 3 comma minus? Okay, that means question asks to draw the median from here and this median passes through the midpoint of third side. Okay, this is the midpoint and we can mark this is D. Okay, and question asks to find the length of this median. This is a median. Median divide the third side. Okay, bisect the third side. Bisect means which passes through the middle of this side AC. That means it is pass it is passes through the midpoint of this coordinate A and C. And it is mentioned the vertex through which but uh, median through which vertex 3 comma minus 6. That's why we're drawing the median through 3 comma minus 6, and it goes passes through the side AC and which bisect the side AC. Okay, now to get the coordinate of D, if you know the coordinate of B and D, we can find the distance by using distance formula. And before going to use distance formula, first let us find this coordinate of D and D is the midpoint of A and C. Median means which passes to the middle of the any side. Okay, if you draw from A, then it will bisect side BC. If you draw from B, it will bisect side AC. If you draw from C, then it will bisect side AB. Okay. Now let's get the coordinate of D. To get the coordinate of D, let me draw the rough figure here. Okay. Uh, answer rough figure. D is the midpoint of A and C. That's why it mark A, C, and this is a D. A is how much? Minus 5, comma 2 and C is how much? 7, comma 4. Always mark this is X1 y1 mark this is x2 y2 and this is xy always okay and this is a this d is at the point, midpoint of a and c that's why we're going to use middle midpoint formula okay according to midpoint formula x is equals to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y equals to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Now substitute the value of each letter. x is not there. Write x itself. x1 is how much? Minus 5. While you writing the value, while you substituting the value, please substitute with their proper sign. Sign is very important to get the correct answer. Okay. Then x2 is there. x2 is how much? Plus 7 divided by 2. 2 is there. Then y. 
y is value of y is not there write y itself then y1 is how much 2 then plus y2 is how much 4 divided by 2 now uh, simplify it this is minus 5 plus 7 means 2 by 2 and y equals to this is 2 plus 4 means 6 by 2 and 2 by 2 divided means 1 and 6 by 2 divided by 2 means 3 now we got the value of x and y that is coordinate of d therefore coordinates of d is x y 1 3 1 comma 3 now we got the coordinate now question asks to find the uh, length of its median that means we are going to question asks to find the length of bd okay question asks to find the length of d to find the length we'll use the distance formula okay we already discussed distance formula uh, begin uh, <laughs> reading of this chapter that is in exercise 13 a please go through that video it is there in the playlist okay <clears throat> now we are going to draw again bd okay bd is the median b d and b is how much 3 comma minus 6 and d is how much d we got the coordinate of d just now uh, coordinate of d is 1 comma 3 okay now i mark this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 let's use the distance formula distance bd equals to formula is very simple x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square while you're writing the formula you can write any one first okay but while you're writing write xx in one and yy in another okay you can write x1 minus x2 is also same but in uh, in the proper way bigger minus is small is there but uh, we can write x1 minus x2 or uh, y1 minus y2 we're going to get the same answer okay don't get confused with this place of the uh, letter now substitute value with their proper sign sign is very very important that's why every time i am saying please substitute value with their sign x2 x2 1 then y x1 3 there is a minus sign don't forget it Okay, minus sign and 3 then is square plus y2 y2 is 3 then minus sign there is also minus sign look at here there is also minus sign and minus sign minus minus plus 6 okay y1 is 6 square now this is 1 minus 3 is minus 3 square plus this is 9 is square and this is equals to how much 4 minus minus plus 2 to the 4 9981 and this is equals to under root 85 unit okay this is the distance of length of median we got the length of median length of median is 85 unit unit means either it is centimeter or meter if it is centimeter then write centimeter because there is no unit that's why we are only mentioning unit okay that's why now once again uh, it is given in the question the vertices of triangle and draw the rough sketch because rough sketch help us to get the answer in easy way and correctly okay it is a less chances to make the mistakes that's why take your time give some time to draw the figure then vertices are given and question asks to find the length of its median through the vertex vertex is here that means median is always drawn from the one of the vertex to other side when it passes to the other side it's divide the side that means it passes through the middle of this side that's why it bisect median bisect the third side that's why we are going to use midpoint formula to find the coordinate okay by using the midpoint formula we find the coordinate after getting the coordinate question asks to find the length of bd that's why we're writing bd here and writing their coordinate and we're marking x1 y1 and we're using the distance formula length formula side formula you can say anything uh, so, okay we're using distance formula and substituting their value we got the distance okay and these are the very simple questions and it is based on the simple uh, formula that's why after going through the formula it is easy to solve i am requesting you all after going through this video try to solve all those questions because there are many questions in your test book if you are facing any problem please come in us we'll make the next video to explain if you if you have any doubt okay till there take care stay at home stay safe we'll meet in next video